This is a video about scrape painting. Scrape painting is a really fun technique that's used in abstract painting. I'm gonna show you a lot of different tools you can use and all the different marks you can get with this technique. This first tool is called a wide color shaper for moving large amounts of paint. I get spatulas like this from the dollar store and you can see they come in different shapes and sizes and they actually work just as good as this more expensive artist tool. Here I have a dust pan from the dollar store that has the same rubber edge as the window squeegees. You can get window squeegees at a hardware store or the dollar store. This is an artist tool for screen printing. It's also called a squeegee and you can get them in lots of different sizes. First I have a key from a hotel or like a credit card, a piece of cardboard, a piece of styrofoam that I've cut from a takeout container, and a large piece of plexiglass. Um, you can get scraps of plexiglass at Home Depot or Lowe's. Eighth inch thick is what you want. So I always tape my paper down because you can see my heat's on and it's blowing my paper away. So I have a paint tarp on my table and I tape my paper down. You really can use any kind of paint that you have around, just not a heavy body. I like to use fluid paints. Some of these are economy or some of them are higher end artist grade. And I'm just applying the paint directly to the paper. And I wanted to show you how with unprimed paper, the paint sort of stains the paper so you can get some cool effects with that. And I'm using the Artist Squeegee that's made for screen printing. I have a lot of extra paint left on the squeegee, so I'm gonna use it up on this canvas. And I use the credit card to get into the small spaces. And now I'm using the window squeegee that I got for a couple dollars at the hardware store. I like to work up many layers in this technique. So I let something dry completely while I work on something else. And if you're really impatient, you can use a hair dryer. So this canvas is dry now and I'm applying the paint to the squeegee and I'm gonna give it a couple swipes across.
I've applied paint across the top of the paper and now I'm going to experiment with this piece of plexiglass. It didn't quite do what I wanted it to, so I added more paint to the plexi and gave it another few scrapes. This is a mono printing technique where I use some of the tools to scrape paint away. So I start by covering uh, artist palette paper with the paint and I use the spatula to remove some of the paint and then I'm going to transfer this to my canvas. If you like this technique, you can watch my other videos about mono printing with acrylic paint. So I let that dry and then I decided to add one more layer. So I'm applying paint with a brayer. Then I scraped off some of the paint with the artist palette knife. I decided I really liked what the styrofoam did, so I'm adding another layer here. First I just use it to mix the colors at the top of the page, and then I'm wiggling it as I drag it down the page. The cardboard I used was corrugated, so it left stripes in the paint, which could be kind of interesting. The palette knife is handy because you can really control where you want to put the color. And then I scraped it across the red. But like I said, there's really more control than just dragging the squeegee across the whole thing.
here I'm using the wide color shaper to remove paint and you can also use it to paint with so it kind of has a cool effect. So here I'm using the styrofoam again, but I'm not wiggling it. So you can see there are so many different options with the different tools you can use to do scrape painting, and each one has different markings. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I really hope you give it a try and have fun.